Chennai Super Kings against Delhi Capitals in match 55. A Delhi Capitals that has now won four of their last five and kept themselves somehow alive and in contention for the playoffs. Still, can they dent Chennai Super Kings at Chepok? Tom Moody here to help set that game up for us. Uh, the player we're focusing on is Ruturaj Gaikwad, who will come into this game, Tom, uh, on the back of having received a call up, albeit as a standby player for the World Test Championship final. Uh, something interesting in his scores. He, Still having a proper season, lots of runs. Last five games, a slew of 30 to 45. They've been quick scores, mm -hmm. but no 50s there. From the team perspective, is that pattern of scores sitting right with how Chennai set out to bat? I think absolutely. I think he's done a great job. You know, obviously, from a um, team point of view and a personal point of view, he would have liked to have converted maybe one or two of them into a, a 70 plus score. But uh, you know, ultimately, he has played an important role with Conway at the top of the order in allowing the team to get off to the flyer, um, which is the trend this year in the IPL. Um, that uh, you know, with scores uh, reaching 200, you know, uh, 29 times now, um, you know, if your openers aren't getting on with it in the power play and setting that fast platform, you're, you're very much left behind. And you get a sense, in particular, with this opening combination, it works because out of Gaikwad and Conway, you reckon Conway is more anchor type, if not anchor? Uh, I think they both play the roles depending on who gets the fast start. And, you know, they're both very fine players. And you find uh, in any game situation, um, you know, you, uh, it might be your day where you receive a handful of loose balls, you know, on your pads or short and wide and you cut away for four or whatever it might be. And you... Uh, the, you have at the other end, the, your, your partner is the one that's receiving the, you know, the hard length balls that are climbing into the top half of their bat. So, you know, it does swings in, uh, swing in roundabouts and they've both got the, the, the game to be able to either anchor it or play that aggressor. Okay. Now from the player's perspective and the perspective of a young top order batter who is knocking on the India doors across formats, especially when you're a top order, a top order batter, is... Uh, do big scores become imperative to make the kind of impact that can land you up in the national side? I, I don't think that should ever be in a player's mind um, what uh, the higher honours, uh, potential higher honours uh, rewards are for performance. I think you need to live in the here and now. And what's important for Guy Quad is scoring runs for Chennai Super Kings. Uh, and if it means that he's got to do it at a strike rate of 160 plus, and more often than not, you know, going at that rate, he's going to get those 30s and 40s and every now and then he'll, you know, punch a high score. I think that's more important to where he's at here and now than worrying about, well, I'm going to, you know, play conservatively here and, you know, worry about the things that are happening outside the IPL and that is potential higher honours and recognition with the Indian team. I think uh, the selectors and, uh, and the management will be very much more concerned about him playing his role for Chennai Super Kings and getting that right. Uh, just focusing on Delhi, in the last game where they beat RCB, dominated the chase, uh, they stumbled upon a combination, you'd have to say inadvertently, Andrik Nokia was unavailable for unfortunate reasons, uh, but they got those four overseas batters, which is something you had suggested mm -hmm. earlier on in the competition, and it seemed to work wonders, so stick with it. Yeah, I think for this particular um, venue, I, I would stick with it. Um, as much as it's hard to leave someone of uh, Andre Nokia's uh, calibre and, and, and impact on the sidelines, I think the side looks like it's going to be more um, uh, galvanised um, against the Chennai Super Kings with going top top heavy with their batting. Um, you know, particularly at a venue that uh, you know can be vulnerable, where it can swing uh, earlier with Chahar with the new ball, but also the spin. Challenge. I think they need the, the, the quality and the depth in their batting to be able to combat that. And the All India bowling lineup is okay given the way Ishan Sharma has been performing so far. Yeah, oh, Ishan Sharma has been tremendous. You know, he's leading that attack and 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 doing it exceptionally well. And they've got two very good spin options in Cool Deep and Axa that are going to be vital to that uh, to that whole um, balance of that attack on that surface. Caused a few upsets in the last uh, week or two. Uh, stopped Gujarat Titans, which seemed unexp completely unthinkable. Uh, can they stop Chennai in Shepak? 
Uh, they haven't got a great record um, in Chennai, but I've got a sneaky feeling that um, that percentage, win percentage down there is going to change in favour of Delhi Capitals. Ooh, watch out. Watch out, Chennai Super Kings, because the last time Tom Moody backed Delhi Capitals against a team at the top, they did the job against Gujarat Titans. Can they do it again? Tell us in the comments section and uh, be sure to follow all the action on Visit Saudi presents ESPN Cricket for T20 Timeout.